up guys it's Actix here bringing you guys a tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a glitch effect on 2D text and you can also do it on objects like uh, 3D renders from Cinema 4D and stuff like that so let's get right into it first of all you're going to want to open up a new canvas I'm just going to make it the standard 720 by or 1280 by 720 and I'm going to fill my background so my background color is white for the shortcut for fill control backspace and there you go filled it I'm gonna actually make it a black background because for the 3D effect or the glitch effect it'll look better in this way. And then you're just gonna start adding some text. So make sure the color is white. And I would like, I would choose a very legible font. For example, Typography Pro is a perfect example or uh, Gotham Thin, stuff like that. So another example is Gotham, Gotham Light, it's also a really good, uh, really good font. So I'll just go with typography and I'm going to type tutorial, there we go. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just making it very big, but uh, usually you don't want it to be uh, like the text to be this big. Anyways, uh, now you can, once you're like done editing this text and you're happy with what you've got, with what you've got, you're just going to right click the, the text here and then go to rasterize type. And now what this does is it makes it a image as opposed to a text. So now you're going to want to duplicate it by clicking Control J twice. And on the first copy, you're going to go into the settings, the blending option. So just double click it and then go to the blending options default and click uh, G. So untick the green and click OK and go to the second one and untick red and blue and then click OK. And now go to the move tool and then using your arrow key, uh, move it to the left a couple times and then click the other layer and move it to the right. So already you've got kind of like the typical uh, 3D effect here, which is also like the, the beginning to our glitch. And now the final step is selecting everything and then control E, control E merges. And then you're going to go to your uh, rectangular marquee tool. And you're going to pick out some parts, for example, like this. Hold Control X, Control V, and then move it into place. And so what it does is a bit of a glitch effect. For example, let's do it on another. For example, right here. Make sure you're on the right layer. Control X, Control V. And then I'll move this in this direction. And just a final example. Something like this. Oh, make sure you're on the right layer. Control X, Control V. And just like that, you've got a, more of a glitch effect. And this looks really cool actually when uh, putting your signature on a banner or something. You can do something like this and it could look really cool. And actually, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple tutorial, but it can look really cool if you know how to use it well. So if you take your time and you pick out the right places to. Uh, cut out stuff you can really make a really awesome text so yeah if you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and it helped make sure to drop a like and a comment letting me know what you want the next tutorial to be because I'm always looking for new ideas since I run out pretty quick and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching and peace out stay sexy